Until bass then. Okay, so here I've got an Instinct Eco Mag leaking. As you can see, the floor got very wet, did the carpet, did downstairs, everywhere. All ruined the ceiling. Uh, and it was leaking out of here, just out of that bit, which is where the magnet goes in. And it goes inside a plastic sheath, which is part of this bit. So if you dismantle yours, you'll see that, that all comes apart and you can clean it and stuff if you isolate it there. But mine has been leaking for ages out of this bit. It's, it's not now because I've changed an O-ring on the top. See that O-ring that's squished in there? I've changed the O-ring. The orange bit is a nothing. That's just a time and date to remind you when to change it, I think, or give you a, a nod when to change the, the magnet filter. Uh, or clean it so yeah the plas plastic orange thing does nothing that's a bleed screw and then that is the magnetic core you can pull it out when you want to drop all the dirt and grime off into a sink when you take off the whole unit from unscrewing hip here so mine was losing pressure over a long long time just a little marginal a little bit but today it catastrophically just came out of there. So I think what's happened is the inner sheath has cracked. It's got to the magnets. The magnets are rusty. And then it's coming up the core of the magnet through that flathead screwdriver plug. If I was to undo that, I could show you. Um, I'll do it in a minute. So now mine isn't losing pressure, but it was on zero this morning and it was gurgling and gargling away and that's when I realised that it's ruining my ceilings and my floors and my carpets in this cupboard. Looks like it's an online problem. The Eco Mag isn't made anymore, can't buy it. I'll probably just change it out for another one like a Defender Mate or something, providing it's the same thread here. That'd be handy as a straight swap for a new mag. But the fact they're not making any more, maybe that's because they keep cracking on the internal sleeve and then leaking up the magnetic core. So that has been a bit of a pain and looking online, it's happened to two or three other people leaking from the top and they're always coming out there. Underneath that orange cap, there's a nothing. There's nothing to come out there, it's just literally a cap date and that's what's been happening and it was just the seal was extremely flat it's not meant to seal it I don't reckon I think that core is meant to be dry but my magnets inside are rusty corroded they shouldn't look like that that's where the water's been getting into that inner sleeve and then it's leaking up the top and as I said it's been for me losing pressure for a long time I've been topping it up every couple of months and that's probably where it's been leaking from. So with any luck now, yes it's a temporary fix for an, a rubber seal and I've fixed it, but ultimately you will need a new mag. Because it might, I'll show you my mags now, they're all corroded. All right, I've just unscrewed it. These valves are off so no more pressure can come out. I don't believe anything should be coming out of here anyway. I think the old magnets are stuck down there and they've separated from these ones. As you can see, it's very corroded. So I've put a new seal on that half inch looking bit. And then the main one that was leaking was here where my thumbnail is. So I've put a new seal on there and that seems to have held back the water and the constant leak it was just coming out all over the top I'll put that back in for now as I said I don't believe that should be corroded that should be in its inner sleeve with no water getting to it tighten that down don't want to ruin the seal particularly not too tight but for a temporary fix that should be good to go 
don't want to get any water around here, do we? Number four, that was all running around the top, coming out. So yeah, I'm gonna get a new one anyway. <laughs> 